Hi guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge. And today, for What's For Dinner Wednesday, I'm sharing my family's favorite chicken recipes. I'm making baked Parmesan crusted chicken. It is quick and easy and delicious. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Okay guys, so baked Parmesan chicken. In my version of this recipe, you only need five ingredients. It only takes about five minutes to throw it together. And then after 20 minutes in the oven, your dinner will be ready and your house is gonna smell delicious. But before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And if you are subscribed, you can hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I like to share a new recipe every Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting off with one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now these are the really nice large ones that I get from Zaycon Fresh, so I very quickly just butterflied each breast. But if you wanted to, you could use chicken tenders, and that would be even faster. Next up is the mayo. Now even my husband, who's not a huge fan of mayo, still likes this recipe. But if you really don't like mayo, you could definitely substitute this for Greek yogurt. This is three quarters of a cup. I'm also going to be using about three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now I really like the kind that comes pre-shredded in this tub, but if you wanted to use the Kraft kind, you could also do that. To this I'm going to be adding one half cup of seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Now I've actually made my own breadcrumbs because I needed them to be gluten free, but you can use any breadcrumbs you prefer. And the last ingredient that you definitely need is garlic. I'm gonna be using three large cloves of garlic and I'm actually going to grate them directly into my bowl, but you could also just crush it or mince it. Now that's all I'm putting in my Parmesan chicken, but you could add additional salt and pepper or some red pepper flakes, it's totally up to you. But for me, I'm using a lot of Parmesan cheese and mayo is kind of salty to me as well, so I'm gonna hold off on adding any more salt. Now sometimes I like to serve this chicken over pasta. You could definitely do that, or even rice, that would be delicious. But today I'm actually gonna spiralize some zucchini and make zucchini noodles. Have you guys ever tried this? After I've preheated my oven to 425, I'm gonna get started by mixing up my mayo, my Parmesan cheese, and my garlic. Now if you're using Greek yogurt instead of the mayonnaise, I would definitely consider adding some fresh squeezed lemon juice and some extra salt and pepper at this point. To your tastes, of course. Next, I'm gonna place my chicken on top of a parchment-lined baking sheet. I really like to use the parchment paper because it makes cleanup so much easier. Next, I'm going to spread my mayo, cheese, and a garlic mixture all over the tops of my chicken. And you don't have to coat the whole piece of chicken, just the top is fine. And then we sprinkle the breadcrumbs. And that's it, so quick and easy. Now I'm gonna place this in my preheated oven for about 20 minutes, or until your chicken is cooked and the juices run clear. When the chicken is almost done, I'm going to make my zucchini noodles. These are so easy to make. I'm going to use my spaghetti tool that I found on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're curious. It is super quick and easy and a good way to get in your veggies. These zucchini noodles cook really fast. Just a couple of minutes in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper is all you need. Okay friends, I'm a total believer that sometimes the most simple recipes turn out to be the most delicious. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any recipes that are simple yet delicious because I would love to check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.